Hi guys, this is a 2024 election prediction between former President Donald J. Trump versus uh, former U.S. Senator and um, Attorney General Hillary Clinton, who served in the Obama administration. Alright, um, so let's get into it. Um, I'm sorry, I said Attorney General, she was the Secretary of State in the Obama administration. So Trump would win this, uh, these states solidly, you know, of course, all these normal... Uh, Republican states. Nebraska at large would be solid for them. Remember, the environment is awful for the Democrats right now, and this is going to cost them badly. Um, I do think Alaska would be a likely state, though I don't think it will shift into that solid column. I think Missouri would stay a solid state, along with all these uh, regulars. Uh, South Carolina, you know, remember, Hillary Clinton is pretty much, it's pretty popular among African Americans. They're not, they don't have anything against her. They're not going to stay home. You know, these Hillary Clinton 2016 African American votes, they're not going to stay home in 2024. Some will, because of the environment for the Democrats, but not costly enough. Um, so therefore, I do think South Carolina would be likely for Donald Trump. We also need to remember how unlikable Hillary Clinton is. She, she is a weak candidate in general, and it's as simple as that. Iowa and Ohio would be a likely Democrat or Republican, I think, again. Um, I don't think we're going to see a, sh a shift here. Along with Indiana, because Trump's running mate will definitely not be Mike Pence after he certified the votes for, uh, for Joe Biden in 2020. Going to safe states for Hillary Clinton, uh, the West Coast, along with Hawaii, uh, D.C., oops, sorry, uh, D.C., Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Vermont along with Maine's 1st District. Uh, Maine at large, I see being likely. It was likely for Biden in 2020. And Hillary Clinton will be slightly less popular than Joe Biden. Well, I shouldn't say slightly. A lot less popular. Because remember, 2020 was a blue wave, down, along with 2018. Donald Trump was that unpopular. He will be again, but so will Hillary Clinton be. And with the administration's unpopularity, that added up is going to be costly for Hillary Clinton. Uh, Virginia, I see, you know, this was a state that really backed her up, um, but the environment is going to be worse for the Democrats in 2024, so I think Virginia, it will go to Hillary Clinton, but I think it would be by a lean margin, I think this is going to slightly be less than 1%, I'm sorry, slightly less than 5%, probably, uh, like 4 point some. In Texas, this is a state that is going to stay in the Republican column. You know, went to Biden, or I'm sorry, went to Trump by 5 point some points, 5, I think, I think 5.6 points in 2020 and to make it a solid state it's gonna to have to jump another 10 percent it's gonna to have to shift another 10 percent to the right and i just don't see that happening with hillary clinton being pretty popular among minorities so i do think texas would stay in the demo it would be i'm sorry keep misspeaking would stay in the republican column but uh it will not turn into a solid state for them surely not all right uh going to new mexico and colorado these are states that biden won it um, in New Mexico, like, I think 10%, and then, yeah, that's right, 10%, and then Colorado was 13%, um, they're, they're going to stay in the, dem in the Democratic column, um, I, I guess they will stay in the likely column, they're just not going to shift that much, saying that Hillary Clinton, uh, won both these states in 2016, sure, the, uh, Democrats are going to do worse than 2016, uh, well, you know, just their approval ratings and stuff, but, I, I see these staying in the Democratic column. But in a state like Arizona, this is going to be a state that I could see going to Donald Trump by likely margin, but in reality, I think it would be slightly less than 5% to make it a lean state for Donald Trump. You know, sure, it's becoming more Democratic, but just this is an area where Biden is not doing well just because of his popularity. His approval ratings are not well in states like Arizona. I just, I don't see it. I really don't. Um, I don't see Hillary Clinton really appealing to these people here. But, uh, oops, sorry about that. Nevada has proven itself to be, to be not solidly Democratic, obviously, but a state that the Democrats do have a shot in and can count on in some elections, like 2020. Nevada is a state that went to uh, Hillary Clinton by, what, 2.4% in 2016 and 2.4% for Joe Biden in 2020. So I think this will be in the Democratic column, but I think this would be extremely close. I think this would be uh, more on the side of, a t of less than 1%. Now, I will remind you, you might think with, you know, projections in, uh, my projections in, like, Virginia, and, well, not Virginia, but Nevada, and New Mexico, possibly, and Colorado, you might be thinking, 
how is Hillary Clinton winning in these states? Well, we do need to remember, this is Donald Trump. If this was a DeSantis versus Clinton prediction, DeSantis is going to claim victory in many of these states. I think DeSantis against Hillary Clinton has, will win Nevada and has a shot in a state like New Mexico. But Donald Trump, we need to remember, people know how Donald Trump is, and he is unpopular. He is an unpopular former president, and we just need to keep that in mind. This is not someone like Ron DeSantis. This is Donald Trump. In Minnesota, I think this would be a lean Clinton state as it was in 2016, just because of how unpopular uh, Biden and Harris are. But a state like Wisconsin, this rural area where the, the administration is not doing well because the because uh, many believe that the administration has not been helping farmers or agricultural people or uh, rural Americans at all, mostly just cities. Um, Michigan is going to be a very close day. It's going to be till either way. But we will get to that in a second. Uh, Pennsylvania is going to definitely be a Trump state, I think, by a lean margin. Just because of how unpopular Biden and Harris are. And because of how, how unpopular Hillary Clinton is. There will probably be another scandal pop-up, you know, for all we know. It's, this is not going to be a good year for Hillary Clinton. I really don't think that she will be able to win. And, um, you know, being such an unlikable person and... Uh, in a year where the Democrats are not going to do well as of right now. In Michigan, Michigan's hard, but, uh, you know, African Americans, they're going to turn out so much against uh, Donald Trump, but that doesn't, well, I shouldn't say that. They're, they're going to hate Donald Trump, but they're not going to necessarily like Hillary Clinton, and that's the same exact story as it was in 2016. So many people like to bash Trump, but they didn't even turn out for Hillary Clinton because they didn't like Clinton that much either. All right, it's, you know, African Americans, they're just going to stay home for Hillary Clinton, especially right now, because they don't approve of President Biden or Harris. They feel like they haven't served them as they promised, especially saying that African Americans, they won Biden the presidency. They won him the nomination after the South Carolina primary, and that brought him to victory. But he hasn't been serving them as a community. So I think just narrowly, but definitely a tilt margin either way, Michigan will uh, vote for Donald J. Trump. In North Carolina, Georgia, and Florida, well, first of all, Florida, I think this would be a likely state for Donald Trump. I think these, the Republicans, they're going to increase their victory in the state of Florida for years to come. You know, the Republicans, this could be a Republican stronghold at some time, and that puts Donald Trump over the edge. I think this would be over the 5% margin. In North Carolina, um... And then by a lean margin, so less than 5%, but more than 1%, this would be a Trump state. This was a Trump state in 2016 and 2020. It's really a close state. But just with the harsh environment for Democrats, I don't see it. And African Americans are not going to turn out for Hillary Clinton as much as they did in 2016 because Hillary Clinton won't be as much as affiliated with Obama as she was in 2016. We need to remember that also. And in Georgia, the same thing. I think by a probably by a lean margin again. This would be a, a Donald Trump state. This is going to be a flip state. And in Maine's second district, uh, you know, likely for Donald Trump, of course. Should have categorized that earlier. And, you know, mm, this is going to be a tilt state. But I think Hillary Clinton, once again, because this was tilt state for her in 2016, I think once again it's going to be tilt for her less than 1% in 2024 if she does run. Um... I mean, just because Donald Trump is the former president and many people, you know, he is going to be very unpopular, um, you know, if this was 2016. But now I would give uh, New Hampshire to Donald Trump. And it looks like we have one more toss up vote here, and that's going to be in Nebraska's second district. Where I do think Trump would win. Uh, probably by a likely margin, you know, this is going to be a major flip. I think it would be a bit more than 5%. Another area where Biden is not doing well, and that will ultimately affect Hillary Clinton. So, uh, Donald Trump wins with 306 electoral votes to Hillary Clinton's 232. This is actually, oh, I didn't even realize this. This is the exact, exact same map as 2016. And I did not even realize it one bit. Yep, Arizona. Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, the South there, New Hampshire. Wow, I did not even realize that. So, same electoral vote uh, as 2016. So, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time.